I do want to stay over on the Big Ten for just a little bit. John sure. Orand over at Sports Business Journal, he reported that Mark Silverman and other Fox executives really took the lead on negotiating these deals with other networks for the Big Ten. Now, how unprecedented is this, or is it kind of common practice for networks, especially those with a vested interest here, to work together in a situation like this? I have never heard of it before. Um, it was very, very intriguing and very interesting. I, what I was trying to figure out is just what role Larry, Larry Jones and, and Mark Silverman, who I actually hired to run the Big Ten Network back in 2007, um, just exactly how involved they were. You know, at one end, they could have been involved to the extent Fox already had the tier one deal locked up months ago. And so the for the second and third packages, they might have been involved just so that they could see how it ultimately affected the Big Ten network rights, which is also owned by Fox. So they, you know, you had the the number one package, and then they have the Big Ten network package. And I'm sure they were trying to make sure that nothing happened in between there that was going to affect either of those two packages. Basically, so they don't lose games and, and exactly. such for that, right? It, it is interesting. I'm sorry to interrupt you. It, I, I find it so. Uh, just mind blowing looking at one them being able to be in the room with these other networks but two because they do own such a large percentage of the Big 10 network this is effectively the NFL, we've talked about the NFL model and whatnot on our show before where everything that these other networks is doing is basically just providing uh, advertisement for a Fox property in the Big 10 network right that's a good portion of it i mean i think there'll be one thing, when you have a, a variety of partners and you see it in baseball and you see it in the NFL, they'll cross-promote to each other's networks. So I'm sure in that 12 o'clock noon game, there's going to be some requirement for Fox to promote into the CBS game and the NBC game, and but same with NBC, NBC and, and CBS, as well as Big Ten Network. So you'll see a lot more cooperation from that standpoint. I think it, it certainly was unusual for the guys at CBS and ESPN and NBC to be in there with Fox, but you also have to remember, you know, guys at that level work together all the time. I mean, it wasn't that too long ago, Fox sold a bunch of U.S. open rights back to NBC and Fox and ESPN have been partners on the Big 12 and the Pac-12 for years. Uh, over in Asia, I was, oversaw a network that uh, was the largest sports network in Asia and we were 50-50 partners with ESPN. So I... You know, a lot of people try and make it out as this big giant war arms race between Fox and ESPN. It's just not there. And I, you know, I listened to John's podcast the other day and I, I listened to two things I thought were very interesting. One is he said, there's not a war between Fox and ESPN. The, you know, Burke and Mark Silverman and Larry, they go back years. And secondly, that Fox wanted ESPN to have a package, but the Big Ten wasn't real interested in it because they, feel that there is an SEC bias to the Big Ten networks, or excuse me, to the ESPN's uh, reporting. That's That was actually my next question on this is, you know, we thought it was Fox versus ESPN, at least the, I'm not going to say the majority of people. I was one of those people that bought into Fox and ESPN were not happy with each other over right. college football rights. Uh, right. But it sounds a lot more like it is the Big Ten versus the SEC. Like, uh, what exactly do you take from from that, the fact that Fox was maybe wanting ESPN to have part of that package, and instead the Big Ten wanted nothing to do with the SEC. Yeah, it is very surprising, and, and I think you may be spot on that it may be conference versus conference um, as opposed to network versus network. I, I, you know, and a lot of people don't believe me, but I don't buy into this whole idea that Fox and ESPN are pulling all the strings here with these commissioners that they and they're somehow puppets and we you know we just jiggle some strings and, and they do what we want <laughs> i've never seen that and i worked with collegiate conferences you know for 25 years uh, across the country and some of them you know you, you ever said that to jim delaney he would have laughed at you <laughs> he's like no bob's not pulling my strings i can guarantee you that so you know it's it's a a healthy relationship i think both fox and espn and cbs all everybody and the conferences it's in their vested interest to have strong college football conferences across the country. There should be, and I don't believe there's a desire within the Big Ten and the SEC to squash all these other conferences and you know make football relevant only in certain parts of the country. I think having you know both coasts covered with the ACC and the Pac-12, and having the Southwest covered with the Big 12, the Mountain West Conference, AAC, it's it's all extremely important. 
Otherwise, I think a championship uh, tournament, such as they're probably going to have coming up here after 2006, becomes largely irrelevant to a lot of the country if those if if the institutions in that those sections of the country don't have some sort of clear and reasonable path to actually get into the playoffs. It, it's basically a rising tide lifts all boats, right? It's absolutely it, you absolutely. need everybody involved in order for it to be as big as humanly possible. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.